Hi y'all, this is Larry at Deep South Texas. It's the 14th of April and it's time to let the harvest begin. And the first thing on the list to harvest is this Biltmore tomato. Bright red and perfect. Into the basket it goes. And next we have a Cherokee purple to harvest. I think this was the first uh, tomato to show up. Uh oh, clipped the wrong thing. There we go. Not quite as perfect on the outside, but it's gonna be a great tomato. And it's also time to harvest our first cucumber. So the cucumber has been uh, flowering right along, but uh, this is the only one that has set so far but uh, it's ready to harvest. Well, the family has uh, requested a uh, green pepper for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna pick this one. This is my first one. And there it is, a pretty nice pepper. I also got to get a couple sugar rush. So we're gonna have some fajitas tonight, uh, have some peppers and onions to go with them. So we're harvesting these out of the garden. So this is the yellow bell pepper plant that I harvested that uh, big green bell pepper off of last week and uh, lots of new peppers coming on and this is my California wonder pepper plant it has oh a half a dozen peppers coming on these will turn red when they're mature let's harvest a couple Anaheims looking pretty nice Let's get at least one more here. There they are. And we have one cayenne pepper here that's ready to harvest. Let's, let's grab that. <laughs> that looks pretty nice. And let's grab a few sugar rush peach peppers as well. We've been harvesting these for the last, uh, last several days, last week actually, using them for salsa and uh, whatever we needed a little bit of, of heat in. And now let's grab a couple jalapenos you got some pretty nice size ones here. We'll take uh, two of those as well. Now with these peppers and tomatoes, maybe we ought to go try to harvest an onion and, make, and we can make some salsa. So we have one onion here that's uh, gotten to be a nice size and it's kind of close to a couple others. so. Maybe we need to harvest this one. Wow, that's a nice size onion for this early in the year. <laughs> oh yeah. Now the carrots haven't really done very well this year, but let's, uh, let's pull up a few and see what we end up with. Kind of small. 
doesn't look too bad. Dig around in here. Well, that's okay. I think uh, probably I need to get out here and harvest all of my carrots. That'll be a job for this week. Looks like our uh, adopted cat Rocket found a nice cool place in the garden underneath the tomatoes to rest for a while. <laughs> And let's get a couple summer squash. This is a zucchini here, and it's ready. So that's our first, uh, first zucchini of the year. But there's a couple summer squash also. Let's go uh, get at least one of those. So here's a nice yellow summer squash ready to harvest. This will be the first one of these we've harvested this year as well. So, looking good. So I harvested three of my leeks earlier, but I lost the clip. You'll see those leeks later. But uh, I thought I'd pull one more up for you on camera because they're uh, they have quite an impressive root system on them. Anyway, there that is. I'll wash this one up with the rest. So now I have uh, four. I think that's going to be enough for two pots of leek and potato soup. <laughs> I harvested a handful of uh, blue lake pole beans as well. The plants look wonderful, lots of flowers, not a lot of beans, so there's still time yet this year. We're also growing some uh, Chinese long beans on this trellis. They have just started producing beans, and uh, yeah, they're going to be long. <laughs> we'll see how they do. I've tried these a couple times in the past and uh, never been very successful, but we're giving it another try. So for the next month or so, we'll be harvesting tomatoes almost every day. We have a huge number of tomatoes getting ready to turn red. Tomatoes are also starting to look a little uh, beyond their peak as far as the plants go, but we'll get all the tomatoes we need in the next month. Disease-wise, the celebrities are uh, in the worst shape, but they have huge numbers of uh, big tomatoes coming on. So uh, overall, pretty happy with those. As you saw, the onions that I planted from seed, they're starting to bulb up and looking pretty nice. The onions that we uh, planted from starts still haven't started to bulb up yet, but it won't be too long. My pink-eyed purple hull peas and my red ripper peas are starting to climb the trellis. They should be flowering in the next couple weeks and putting on peas. That'll be uh, what we'll be harvesting after the tomatoes are gone. The banana trees are looking good. No banana flowers yet, but that's still probably a couple months away. The aloe vera is uh, looking extremely pot bound right now. I need to do something about that, but uh, I don't know what. I think usually by this time of the year my potatoes have died back, but they're still looking uh, they're still looking pretty healthy, at least the ones that came up. 
I know we have potatoes in there because my wife has dug around and found a couple, but uh, we'll wait to start harvesting those. And the speckled butter beans, they're doing great. They're starting to put on flowers, looking for a great harvest there as well. And the wheat field continues to look good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I have overseeded this. We'll see if anything anything comes of it. Got a couple different pots of herbs growing here. Not even sure what all what all they are, but there's a couple there and then uh, over here we have some more. Looking pretty nice. And my wife has one barrel of flowers here in the garden as well. Well, as I mentioned in my last video, we had a, a hen go broody and we put some eggs under her. And let's go take a look at the, at the progress there. So our broody hen has successfully hatched three little chicks. She's got one more egg there. I don't know uh, if that one's gonna hatch. We took a lot of other ones out that uh, weren't fertile at all, so. But three, three new chickens wasn't enough for my wife, so she went off to the store to buy more chicks. I told her, only six. Let's see what she brought home. So I have my, a big tub sitting on my back porch. And uh, the chicks we purchased are in there. The temperature controller here that controls uh, turning off on and off this heat lamp. And there are the chicks. It'll be kind of hard to see them. Let's see if we can move some of this out of the way and get a better shot. So there's nine new chicks in here. They all seem to be seem to be pretty healthy. These are supposed to all be hens here. The ones we hatched, we have no idea. With our luck, there'll be a lot of roosters. <laughs> but we have a new flock in the making. So our, here is our first harvest of the summer season. Leeks, carrots, an onion, a bunch of peppers, some wonderful tomatoes, a couple, summer squash, and a cucumber. Harvested a few green beans as well. Pretty happy with that. And the harvest will continue here at Deep South Texas oh, for the next several months. The so tomatoes, probably we only have a month left on those. So my gardening season starts real early here in deep South Texas. I planted my pepper seeds uh, the last week of December. I planted my tomato seeds the first week in January. And they both went into the ground in the garden in, uh, in mid-February. So really good. The onion seeds I planted uh, probably the last week of September, first week of October last year and they are just now bulbing up looks pretty good looks pretty good so again the tomatoes they'll last about another month until it gets too hot down here and then they'll come out we'll still harvest peppers after that and we'll also be be harvesting our cow peas and we're going to have a bunch of cow peas this year so that looks good carrots didn't do too well eh, it's okay Potatoes, not too well, but we're still going to get a bunch of potatoes this year. So I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it that big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.